Citadel is made up of four modular units, or face rises. A 2 and 3 eighths, a 3 and 13 sixteenths, a 5 and a quarter, and an 8 and 1 eighth. The 8 and 1 eighth being what is referred to as the Alpha Stone. It's always best to set the Alpha Stone first and work around it. The Alpha Stone should be placed about 1 to 1 and a half feet apart and should never touch each other. By staggering the Alpha Stones, you eliminate long horizontal lines in the wall. These horizontal lines will simply die into the sides of the other alphas. Horizontal joint length should stay between 3 to 4 feet. The offset from one vertical joint to the next should be at least 4 inches, and the tallest vertical joint in the wall should be equal to the tallest stone in the wall. In a standard body citadel, the alpha stone will cover about 25% of the wall. The 5 and a quarter will cover about 40%, the 3 and 13 sixteenths will cover about 20%, and the 2 and 3 eighths will cover the remaining 15%. Following these guidelines enables a bricklayer on the other side of the building to replicate the same patterns and distances. Citadel uses a staggered bonding line, which is formed using the 3 and 13 sixteenths and crossing it with the 5 and a quarter and 2 and 3 eighths units. A bonding line allows you to lift or lower a wall without cutting any stones horizontally. Our bonding guidelines are as follows. Two two and three eighths will bond with one five and a quarter. Two three and thirteen sixteenths will equal one eight and one eighth unit. And a two and three eighths combined with five and a quarter will bond with an eight and one eighth stone. As with all of our stone, the heights and depths remain set, but with Citadel, the stones come up the skid in varied lengths and with finished ends. Since there are much fewer joints in a stone wall than in a brick wall, it makes the joints even more important. It's critical to fill the head joint prior to inserting the stone. Use a half inch mortar joint both vertically and horizontally. Be sure to maintain an airspace between the structure and the back of the stone. Always line up the backs of the stones, never the fronts. An easy way to do this is to keep one hand on the top of the stone, place your fingers behind, and let them act as a standardized spacer. Use the other hand to set the stone. Maintaining an airspace helps with drainage, drying, sound resistance, and thermal resistance. Once you've set the stone, cut off the excess, set your level, and move to the next stone. As always, avoid stepping or stringing together more than two to three units of the same height or creating box patterns in the wall.